The PS5 Pro has been in discussion for quite a while now, and today has been specifically interesting as we had Moore's Law is Dead reveal some documentation and some information about the specs. And some of it looked very legitimate, but there were concerns about it being 100% confirmed. Since then, Tom Henderson has just come out with an article talking about how it is real, discusses the release date and what's to be expected with this new PS5 Pro. Quickly, before we jump into this though, guys, if you could do me a huge favor, show your support for the channel. It really does go a long way by hitting that like button, subscribe if you're new, and share the video to keep the community informed. Now let's talk about this article that Tom Henderson put out now. He says that Insider Gaming can confirm that the leaked PS5 Pro specs leaked earlier today are real, and the PlayStation 5 is still tentatively targeting a 2024 release date. So that's still pretty big that it's coming this year as the expectation. And again, as I say, He's been right so many times or every time that he's ever said anything really uh, to a degree that I believe that very much that this year holiday season, we're going to see a release for the PS5 Pro. Goes on to say that Insider Gaming can confirm that the documentation leaked is from a PlayStation developer portal, which was sent out this week to a wider band of third party developers. So this furthermore confirms that that not only did Moore's Law is Dead's documentation have legitimacy, but that Tom Henderson himself has also seen the same documentation, so it looks like this is very much the case. As far as what we can expect with the PS5 Pro, what is the goal of the PS5 Pro? What are we expecting it to do? And that is consistent FPSs at 4K resolution. So hopefully, you know, 60 at 4K, we'll probably see that Sony version or PlayStation's version of FSR and DLSS, so their own thing that they have going on there. Uh, which will be a huge jump. That's going to be a big, big deal for the PS5 Pro. So these are the biggest things that we're going to see. And obviously a performance mode for 8K resolutions, which is interesting. I don't I don't know how many people are gaming on 8K monitors or TVs, but I, I don't imagine that we're going to see that much of that. Although maybe in, you know, in the next coming years, that is something that we'll focus on. As far as the leaks go in terms of the specs, we have rendering 45% faster than the PS5, which is huge two to three times ray tracing, four times in some cases, 33.5 teraflops, which is a huge jump, PSSR, which is what we talked about uh, being the PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution upscaling. Uh, and this is similar to FSR and the LSS in many ways. Support for resolutions up to 8K is planned for future SDK versions, custom machine learning architecture, AI accelerator supporting 300 tops of 8-bit computation, 67 T flops of 16 bit floating point. So I don't know what that means, but it sounds great. So we're just going to go with that. Uh, as far as this entire uh, PS5 Pro spec situation goes, this is a promising set of specs, even for somebody who can't break down all the different things that are going on here in terms of what they mean, like the 67 T flops of 16 bit floating point, right? Like we may not know what that means, but we know that 33 and a half teraflops is a lot greater than what we have on the PS5. We know that rendering 45% faster than the PS5 is great news. We know that, you know, two to three times ray tracing and four times in some cases is it really good news. Like this is the kind of stuff that we know is great for the PS5 Pro. So I think that there's a lot of benefits to the, the spec sheet here, assuming it's real, assuming it's true. I think it's going to be very powerful and I think it's going to make a hell of a difference when it comes to those next games that are dropping. It goes on to say that they can confirm that dev kits have been available to first party studios since September of 2023, third party since January of 2024, and from spring 2024, test kits will also be available, which will be identical to the final product. So this is yet another reason why we are seeing more and more leaks, and we're going to see more and more. We'll probably see what the dev kits look like, and then as we get closer to the launch time, we'll obviously get a proper reveal from Sony. It also goes on to say that they are aiming for a holiday 2024 release. So it's possible that that date could change due to the lack of first party games on the PS5 this year, but uh, it is currently aiming for holiday of 2024. So there's a lot of interesting stuff here. There's a lot of game changing opportunities here as far as what we can expect with the PS5 Pro and what it'll do for these games that are coming up, which is perform better, give us better frame rates, give us better resolutions, give us better experiences overall. As far as price goes, this probably will be a premium priced machine. I expect that it is going to be uh, quite a bit more expensive than the standard PS5. So expect that for sure. Uh, I'd be surprised if they could launch it at the price that the PS5 launched that. I just don't see that happening. 
Uh, I think that this is a premium product that's going to come with a premium price tag the same way their other products do that they feel are premium premium products. Think of the edge controller. Think of the in zone headsets. Think of those kind of things where they say they're they're premium products and they do come with a premium price tag so that's what my expectation is as far as that goes i personally will be picking up a ps5 pro as long as the price is within reason if it's like 1500 dollars, i'm obviously not going to pick that up but if it is you know um under under a thousand definitely something that i can take a look at and and purchase and hopefully enjoy because i really like the playstation ecosystem and what they have going on and i love to support uh brands that i feel are doing great things for gaming but let me know in the comments what you guys think are you excited for the ps5 pro does this look interesting to you do you believe this sound off in the comments as always if you enjoyed the video hit that like button if you did not enjoy the video hit the dislike button subscribe if you're new and share the video to help grow this community i thank you all for watching take care